Welcome to Skull Kingdom. Whoop, oh, just a second. I said, Welcome to Skull Kingdom! We're waiting for the special effects. <laughs> the ghosts are a little slow. It is Halloween. Uh, we're down here on iDrive at Skull Kingdom. There we go! There, ooh, spooky, scary. Uh, we're hanging out at uh, down on iDrive today at uh, Skull Kingdom. Uh, it's open. It's it's a haunted house. It's open all year round. See, see the big skull back there, the stone formation? Uh huh. They tell me that's natural. Should I believe them? Absolutely. We have we have things like that in Florida, don't we? So we're going to be down here. They actually tell me there's one room in here that the that the staff believe actually is haunted by a real ghost. So we're going to be going inside today. Hi, I'm John Graham. We're, well, not, not none of those guys. Me. Hi, I'm John Graham. We're live at Skull Kingdom, the only haunted house that's open on Christmas, New Year's, and yes, even Halloween. We're going to take you on a tour coming up. Well, goodness, it looks like the tour is about ready to start. I'll see you in just a little bit. You're watching Fox 35 News at seven. Ian and John Graham is live today at Orlando's year-round haunted house. A visit to Skull Kingdom after this. It's Halloween. You don't know what could happen. We're live at the Skull Kingdom today, which, like you said, is a haunted house down on I Drive. It's open year-round. Oh, there he is again. Oh, oh, who, Eric, is it, sir? I, I like the fact that he's behind bars. No, oh, oh, ha. So, hang on. Okay, hang on. I'm going to just talk to you right from this side of the bars. Why don't you tell people a little bit about Skull Kingdom? Well, Skull Kingdom is a walk through haunted castle, year-round, of course. Mm -hmm. Usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes to cover the entire attraction. If Let you survive. <laughs> Less time if you run from the knife-whirling maniac. <laughs> I beat, you're you beat me. Your joke's better than mine. Uh, if, <laughs> tonight, of course, they're open every day. Tonight, you've got some extra stuff going on, right? Oh, yes. Tonight, we have a costume contest with prizes for the best. Mm -hmm. And, of course more screams than you can handle. Now, how intense is this? That's sort of like walking into a donut shop and saying, how sweet are these? It's a matter of taste. Sure, but I've heard there actually is a room that is rumored to actually be haunted. Oh, yes, yes. That you want to show it to me? Of course. So, so stay tuned. Coming up in a little bit, uh, somehow we're going to get him out from behind the bars. I'm not sure if that's a really good idea or not. But no, ya ho. And uh, yeah, it's on uh, iDrive. If you want to come down and try Skull Kingdom, it's on iDrive, uh, International Drive, and American Way. We're live Way. today at uh, Skull Kingdom on International Drive. It's a 24, well, not a 24 hour, it's a 12 month haunted house. We're in a room now that they say is actually haunted. We're going to tell you more about that in a bit. At first, I thought it was that guy, but then I figured he's just hanging around. But look downstairs there. You're watching Fox 35 News at 8. I've heard that uh, this. Whoa! Oh! Oh! I've heard that this room is actually haunted, that the oh, yeah. employees here, the ghouls that run the place, think that this room actually has real ghosts running around. Oh, yes. We have uh, several encounters in here, actually. Um, one of them, uh, one of the former managers, thought he saw another manager, ma member of the management team mm -hmm. down on the stairs over there. And when he went to ask him a question, the person bowed and vanished through a wall. Wow. Ah, whoa, scared me there. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Little surprises around every corner. Little surprises. About how long does it take to go through the, uh, the Skull Kingdom, the haunted house here, if people want to come down? Usually about four days, depending on how quickly you run from the knife wielding maniac. Mm -hmm. and, and, Just kidding. And, and, uh, and money-wise, what are we talking? What's the um, ticket run for? General admission is $12.50 per victim. Mm -hmm. uh, however, if you show a Florida ID, mm -hmm. you get $2 off your general hey, admission. Hey, cool. I always like those deals for the locals. Even ghosts yeah. have, have state pride. Of course. Have to get the locals in. Now, tonight, you've got some special stuff going on, yes. too, right? Tonight, we're going to have another costume contest. 
uh, with prizes, of course. Mm -hmm. And, um, <clears throat> of course, more screams than ever before. <laughs> uh, the uh, Skull Kingdom is at the intersection of American Way and I Drive. And if you want to come down, what time do you actually open? Four o'clock is when you usually open, right? Yes, first group enters at four o'clock. Mm, you four. can't open when bright daylight. That's no good. It's no fun then. Now, they've actually, if you've been down here before, in just the past month or so, they've actually added some new rooms. And I'm foolish enough that in the next segment, we're going to go into one of those. Oh, John, are you uh, sure? I can trust him. I, All right. I, I hope, I think. <laughs> right. hey, yeah, they're, they're pampering me here at Skull Kingdom. They actually told me, in addition to being a year-round year haunted house, they have these nice little saunas for one. Isn't this great? So hopefully, I'll see you in just a few... Uh-oh, this isn't what I thought it was, is it? We'll see you in just a few minutes here on Fox 35 News at 8. This room is one of the newest rooms here in Skull Kingdom. This mm -hmm. is our fully functional cemetery, complete with many bodies. You, you want to introduce anybody? Well, over here we have Martha, mm -hmm. right on top, and right downstairs from her we've got Stuart. <laughs> so we have Martha, and then we got Stuart. You're clever ghosts here, aren't you? Yes. And right behind you here we have <laughs> my favorite. Oh, behind me. Oh. <sighs> right behind you we have Eva. Mm -hmm. She's my personal favorite. You keep She's your hands off here. her. She's been here for a while, and she doesn't like you. Ah! She doesn't you did like that on you. purpose. I did, and I'd do it again. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. uh, it's, a, you know, it's an American way John. and uh, international <laughs> drive. If you want to come down here and check out Skull Kingdom. He's our own John Graham, and he's only a couple of steps ahead of Pro Magnum Man. All right. All right it's a great place to go tonight. Mommy! They just turned out all the lights on me. I found, I found Eric, and then look what he did to me. If people want to come down here, you're open every day of the year, right? Oh, yes, uh, every day. I drive in a, uh, I drive, oh, look, everything's moving. I drive in American way. Now, one thing I think is really cool that I, I, is a secret escape patch. Watch this. I always want one of these in my house. We'll see you guys later. Uh oh, Ooh, a secret trap door. <laughs> I hope John comes back. I, I do too. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>
Oh, my CD is skipping. I w oh! Oh my god! I never thought I'd see it happen! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! This is YouTube goodness! Oh my god! It really was styrofoam and paper mache. It felt so solid. Yeah, watch very carefully. Watch the cane. Watch the cane. And... Good evening! Welcome to Terror on Church Street. Your journey's about to begin, but first we have four, yes, four very important rules. First of all, shh. You'll notice it is very dimly lit in there. They like the dark! Rule number one, they'll be... eternal dwellers and we welcome you to terror <laughs>
Yes, once again it's Halloween, and uh, they're sitting around here looking uh, at all the Halloweenies coming by. <laughs> Oh, you can walk in. Walking out's a bit of a difficult struggle. Hi. Nobody's in here. Bye, guys. Happy Halloween. Uncorrectly. Yeah. Is Rattlebones out there, too, or is he Rattlebones is up on the up Okay, on the he stick. just went up. Okay, yeah, that's everybody. Are you four? have a beer garden we've got refreshments of all sorts and more ghosties and ghoulies than you can shake your severed arm at come join us if you dare and if you dare even more step right up to our ticket window which is located here to my right in the center of the attraction there you may purchase your tickets to enter the musty walls of town church street orlando's most fateful attraction yes taz knows what i'm talking about absolutely Yes, see if we can't raise the hair on the backs of your neck and make your flesh crawl. Join us if you think your heart is up to it. Boo! <laughs> Welcome to Terror on Church Street, North America's premier haunted attraction. You've never seen fear like we have here. <laughs> yeah, watch very carefully. Watch the cane. Watch the cane. And... <laughs> What about you? Uh, yes, it was scary. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're going to find inside this building? I don't know. <laughs> scary. Something scary? Yeah. Well, let's hope you survive. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to Terror on Church Street. Your journey's about to begin, but first we have four, yes, four very important rules. First of all, shh. You'll notice it is very dimly lit in there. They like the dark. Rule number one, there'll be no lighters, flashlights, or lights of any kind. Rule number two, there'll be no photography or videotaping. Rule number three, and this is complicated, so listen up. Do not stop because that leaves you a sitting duck. Do not run because we don't want you getting hurt. Not yet. And do not attempt to turn back at any time because you won't make it. Now then, our fourth rule is the most important of them all. Do not at any time, for any reason, touch anyone or anything. Rest assured that they will not touch you. Now then, you sir, what is your name? You good? 
Pardon? Miguel, Miguel, fantastic. You're now our foolish, I mean fearless leader. Everyone line up behind Miguel, placing your hands on the shoulders or waist of the person in front of you. Now then, this is where your hands will stay throughout your entire journey with us. Do not break this chain or these rules. If you do, you'll be escorted out of the attraction without a refund, and that's if we're feeling nice. Now then, Miguel, You've got the lives of all these good people behind you in your hands. How does that make you feel? I want to live to be 16, okay, son? <laughs> God help you all. Come along, Miguel. Church Street, North America's largest haunted attraction. Welcome to my castle. Come in. Don't be afraid. The dead man inside will no longer hurt you. Meet my friends Frankenstein, the Wolfman, the Hunchback, and the Phantom of the Opera. At Castle Dracula, you will see your reflection disappear in the mirror of death. You will see tortured chambers and dungeons and human sacrifices. Then, if you dare, ride in a sea of human blood deep beneath the castle walls, the catacombs of death, where creatures of the dark await with many surprises. But now I must return to entertain my guests. Join us. We love to have you for dinner.
Donna, did you notice this, notice this water was red? Yes. It looks like blood, Jeff. And it's all coated on the sides of the walls. Oh, he's a horrid man. A horrid man. to see in this fake sight, sir.
must know before you go on. Number one, we know of lighters, matches, or smoking in any way. If you ever should do so, kindly tell one of us, we will take you out back, light you on fire, and then you can smoke all you want. As long as you want. Number two, you know speaking while I am speaking. If you do, I just might have to hear about your tongue. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, it's a morning several times. Powers of light. Yes, powers of darkness. Yes.
take these walls away! This way! Before I take your brain, Jess! You doing there, huh? You chuck. I'm sweating, I'm sweating.
brigantine castle, where ancient colonial halls and things behind glass walls are waiting just for you. Believe it or not, you'll see a living, headless woman and other living things amid dungeons and torture chambers in London and in Western lands. Brigantine Castle, it's alive. never been anything like brigantine alive again with even more surprises than before from its lofty towers high above the sea to rat infested dungeons and hidden graveyards there is always someone or something dying to meet you brigantine castle it's alive on the jersey shore an amateur photographer took these pictures as the brigantine castle burned to the ground a wooden pier and several nearby buildings were also destroyed. Today, firefighters were still on the scene, hosing down the charred embers. Kane Hodder, and even though I play Jason in the movies, I'm not really such a bad guy. Actually, I'm just like everybody else, because when I'm not trying out new garden tools, I have to work. Only I'm luckier than most. I really love my work. You see, a couple of years ago, I had an idea. There was an old farmer nearby who used to run a hayride around his farm. He was getting old and tired, so I asked him if he wanted someone younger to run the business. I've always loved working at night, you know, the graveyard shift. So for a small fee, I picked up the business. And the first thing I did was change the route. I had the ride go through my neighborhood, my backyard, my spooky world.
We come from miles around now, thinking it won't be so bad. Maybe it'll be romantic, relaxing. Yes, they all come thinking that way. But that's not how they leave. I like to make everyone feel welcome at first. In fact, it's like one giant Halloween party. People laugh, they sing, they eat. And for entertainment, well, nothing but the best will do. Oh, everyone has lots of fun, all right. Especially when this guy comes out on stage. Say hello to Bobby Boris Pickett. Wow! Happy Halloween! Wow! We're out on mass tonight. Boy, was the ground cold when I got up tonight. Now, uh, before I sing a medley of my hit, I would like to say uh, that it's a wonderful evening to be above ground and at the top of the food chain. Now I'd like to do the song that James Brown called the granddaddy of all rap songs, the only rap song Frank Sinatra will even listen to, and the song that Elvis Presley, yes, the king himself, in 1962, called the dumbest thing he ever heard. So if you're out there listening, Elvis, I'm still here. <laughs> What a song. 
It really is the national anthem of Halloween. And everyone has a great time when he sings it. You see, I've learned that to scare someone, I mean really scare someone, you have to loosen them up a little bit. Let them have some fun. Then strike. Now I've got them. They're in my neighborhood. It's not a friendly neighborhood. People here don't talk much, but when they do, they talk about what's happened over the years. They talk about the places that had incidents. Every house has a story, every corner a little something dark. And I've constructed some little memorials to what happened at each stop along the road. Because it's not enough just to tell visitors what happened. It's better to show them, make them feel what happened, warn them, warn you. So I hired a few of the neighbor's kids, found a few drifters, hung around the prison gate on release day. You never know where the next great talent might come from. Some of them had to be dressed for the part. Some of them, well, they already looked that way. Some of them had to be told what to do, but some of them just took to it naturally. So if you're looking for a little fun, a little scare this Halloween, come with me now. Let me show you around the place, if you dare. This is where it begins. This is where you leave your world behind. All these people, all here to be scared, oh, and they will be. I'll see to that. So sit back and hold on tight. Welcome to Elm Street. You know who lives here. The competition. And if you meet him, it can be a real nightmare. This is the oldest part of the property. It's said to date back thousands of years. Don't be too scared of these guys, because yes, they're all wrapped up in their work. Hey, what's this? He looks awfully familiar. I guess you could say he's a real cut-up. He's always busy doing body work. And he's got a trunk full of, you know, spare parts. In fact, it looks like we're going by some of his victims. Ooh, they never had a ghost of a chance. Scared yet? Our journey's just beginning. There's so much more ahead. Like here, where the old fraternity house used to be. It was the best house on the old campus until the initiations, well, they got a little out of hand. <laughs> Crazy college kids. You can't blame them, they just lost their heads. Uh, looks like we've strayed off the route a little. <laughs> and now we're in the next town over, you may have heard of it. Tromaville. These guys make good neighbors, though. In fact, there's the Toxic Avenger doing a little late-night cleaning up. All right, Toxie. Ah, yes, a guillotine. A pleasant little reminder of what once happened here long ago.
Hello. Ooh, that must hurt. I wonder how she'll get those blood stains out of her cape. Well, what do you know? It looks like security has picked up another trespasser. Usually I deal with them, but we just got a new toy. Let's see if it works. Shocking, isn't it? Hey, this is really getting good. My kind of fun, if you know what I mean. Now, just up ahead is where the scouts used to have their cookouts. I said used to. Now somebody else is doing the cooking. It looks like they're still hungry. Anyone care to stay for dinner? Now, here's the old town's barber shop, and there's a customer waiting. I hope he realizes that he's in for a close shave. A very close shave. No problem, Joe! We'll just take a little off. Put <laughs> them on there! Oh, 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 There's a guy who loves his work, and he'll give you a trim any time. No appointment needed. A moment of silence, please. We've entered the graveyard. Here, the undead walk. They can find no rest. Here they look for more to join their ranks. Any volunteers? Anyone not feeling well? Maybe a little bit woozy from the haunted happenings? Here's someone who can help. It's Dr. Harelip. And it looks like he's got a patient right now. Good evening, I am Dr. Harelip. Years ago, and those fools kicked me out of Harvard Medical. Have been something he ate or is it something that's eating him uh oh time to move on looks like the good doctor is running out of patience there's farmer brown's old barn the cows are gone now that someone else has moved in yeah more competition oh what's this uh oh Hey, you, in the shower. Watch out, he's got a... Oh. Chainsaw. Well, they think they've had enough. That they've seen it all. They get cookies and cider. Hey, the worst is over. So I invite them all to come inside. It's not much, but it's home. Not too many conveniences, but a few surprises. There's a lot to see and do in here. You have some fun, you relax, loosen up, let down your guard, and that's when we get you again. Because we're not through yet. I've done a little redecorating with some help from my pal Tom Savini. Come on, I have much more to show you. And here's a lively soul to welcome you. Ah, new guests. Welcome. <laughs> what a fine-looking lot you are. You want to pass through the hall of the dead, but don't stop. For your way is littered with the corpses that have gone before you. And keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> now go, before I scare the yell out of you. Come on, it's not so bad. It's just the dark. Uh-oh, what's around this corner? Maybe you should go back. But which way is back? There's nothing to be scared of. 
It's just your worst nightmares. Very strange. In fact, I've been here so long, I'm starting to feel a little strange myself. I'm starting to wonder what all these people are doing. Why are they still here? Why are they still alive? Everyone laughing, happy, or they've had their fun and their little scare. Everything's fine because it's just make-believe, right? Yeah, yeah, just make-believe. You just keep thinking that. Just keep telling yourself, it only happens in the movies. In the meantime, maybe I'll find out where you live and pay a little visit. Now, I know that all of you can't make it to the farm for Halloween. That's too bad. There is a lot to see here. It's too bad you'll miss all my friends. We've got so much planned for you. So many ways to make you squirm. Dark corners to meet you in, shadows to jump out from, creaking doors to hide behind. Oh, we'll miss you here at the farm. We really will. But I'm sure we'll meet somewhere, sometime. Maybe sooner than you think. <laughs>
up for a rest, and then it took off without me. My mother always said I'd lose my head if I wasn't attacked. Good idea having the music stage. So here that Willard, Willard is in Berlin, Massachusetts, at Spooky World. Is this a typo? <laughs> Willard, how you doing? Good morning. Now listen, we're the typos. This is Spooky World, and that's where we are this morning. <laughs> the mist is rising up out of the Great Pumpkin. And Brian and Katie, I want you to meet the GE personnel department. It's 7.33, let's go back to Brian and Katie. No, 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 let's go back to Spooky World. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> From the NBC studios in Burbank, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Featuring Kevin Eubanks and the Tonight Show Band. Tony Tim got married on this program how long ago? 
that shows you how much research went into this. Out of 1969, somebody do the map. Jay, are you there? Yes, I am. I am here. I'm at, I'm at Spooky World, Jay. Oh, oh, Spooky World. I'm sorry. Spookyville is right down the road. You don't want to confuse them. This is the one you want to be at, Jay. Don't accept any substitutes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and yeah. Believe me, it is spooky. Just look up here, Jay. Is that spooky or what? Oh, boy. Come on, come on inside, Jay. I'm oh, at the, uh, the American Horror Museum. Not oh. quite the museum of what? Oh, Jay, look yeah. who I have right here, my oh, friend. It's Tiny, Tiny Tim. Tim. Ladies and gentlemen. He's, he's 72, he's got a high-pitched voice, and his name is Tiny. It, it sounds like a dream wedding night for any girl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jay, you have a guest or Joanne Clavy or something, and we'll come back and watch we'll, we'll see the wedding. Back. We'll come back with you a little bit to catch the pageantry and the excitement of the big, big event. We're going to kiss the bride All now. All right, here we go. Well, there you go. Now, you know, you know, Bill. Now, come on over here and... This whole thing looks like some bad Alice Cooper video. <laughs> For those who dared to venture out into the night this Halloween, special haunted house attractions were only too happy to receive them. We went to a couple with two of Hollywood's horror actresses. People are getting the yell scared out of them at Spooky World in Massachusetts. We weren't brave enough to experience this Halloween haunt ourselves, so we persuaded Scream Queen Linnea Quigley to take us through. Uh, where are you guys taking me? Don't worry, it no. won't very much. No. About 140,000 people have dared to visit Spooky World this year, but Linnea didn't find comfort in those numbers. I'm going to go get a candied apple! Ah! Let's do lunch, guys! I'm back again soon! <laughs> Thanks, Brink and Linnea. By the way, that haunted house called Spooky World in the Boston area, it's raised more than $30,000 this year for the Boston Children's Hospital. Next, don't dare adjust that dial, because Live with Regis and Kathy Lee is coming at you in black and white for our special Halloween boo bash. Today, hers was a harrowing, head-spinning tale of devilish delight. Exorcist alumna Linda Blair. Well, no, it's funny, because you know, I'm, I'm working up in Boston right now. The theme park is called Spooky World. And everybody that comes through, they say, oh, you know, what, what do people ask you the most? And really, it's, how did you make your head spin? Oh. They think that I can actually do this. <laughs> Thank you very much. So you'll be up in Boston at this uh, spooky park, uh, spooky world, spooky world yes, this through, weekend. Through October 31st, yes, it's a uh, city oh, good. It's for a great car. Oh, great. I scared you, but you'd better get used to it. You see, in honor of Halloween, tonight's show will be the spookiest show ever. We're still here in Massachusetts at Spooky World, America's horror theme park. So, if our movies don't spook your socks off, the spookiness of Spooky World will certainly do the trick. So sit back, if you dare, and enjoy Stepfather 2 on USA up all night. Fear with your eyes. Look at look at the camera. More fear. Give him fear. Give him. That's what it is, Jason. More and more blood. Okay? You know what? I, higher with the knife. Higher. That's good. That's good. Just go away. Huh. They should listen to me. Now, back to Stepfather Two on USA. Up all night. ESPN, the Total Sports Network, presents the youth of America doing their best. This is Scholastic Sports America. Hello, everybody. I'm Dan Debenham, and this is ESPN's SSA. And since it is this time of the year, welcome to Spooky World, America's largest Halloween theme park in Berlin, Massachusetts, about 35 miles directly west of Boston. He just goes a little mad sometimes. This boy had a sick old mother. I think she saw Marion and talked to her. No, 
No, unfortunately, he wouldn't let me see her. Hello, I'm Dana Hersey, and welcome to TV 38's Movie Love. Tonight we have a very, very scary movie for you, so we thought it would be appropriate to be right in the middle of spooky world here in Berlin, Massachusetts, in the haunted house area, to present this film. One of the classic thrillers of all time, and believe me, one of the scariest movies ever made. In fact, last year when I went out the street and I asked people their scariest movie, they said this film about half the time. Alfred Hitchcock, masterpiece thriller, Psycho with Anthony Perkins. A real one in just a moment. Don't go away. Mother! Mother! We'll return with more of Anthony Perkins in Psycho after these messages. You'll recognize, of course, Adrian Barbeau, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you were actually at the station 1970... Uh, probably 79 for 79. the fog, That's right, right for the fog, yeah. which I thought was a terrific movie, by the way. Fog is sweeping inland. It's almost like a wall across the east end of town. All right, I, I got to ask you something because, of course, we're showing some pretty scary movies this week. Your favorite scary movies. I know. Let's accept the fog because that's one of our favorite movies, but it's also one of yours. So, other people's movies. Your favorite scary movies. Oh, other people's movies. I don't go see scary movies. <laughs> yeah, I haven't yeah. even seen Psycho. No, that's no, not true. It's true. Wait. Can I prevail on you to do one thing for me? Could you just look at the camera and say? Psycho returns in just a moment. Would you do that for me? Psycho returns in just a moment. A movie she's never seen. We'll return with more of Anthony Perkins in Psycho after these messages. That Norman Bates is a piece of work, isn't he? It was uh, his mother up there in the window looks a little like Maud Frickett, don't you think? We're in the uh, cemetery of uh, Spooky World here in Berlin, Massachusetts. Just to show you there's nothing really to be scary about here, you know? There's nothing to be scared about at all, in fact. I mean, it's only just for atmosphere, basically. Yeah. Motel, please. The base, the ba hello? Hello? Out of gas, maybe, huh? Way out of gas. You may not recognize her with her clothes on. Amazing that a woman like that would get involved with a guy like Norman Bates. Well, hope you enjoyed our presentation of Psycho this evening. We've had a great time here at Spooky World in Berlin, Massachusetts. I want to thank all of those people for having us down here. How you doing, guys? We made a lot of... We made a lot of friends here as well. We want to invite you. We want to invite you to join us on Halloween night for another scary movie, very scary movie in fact, called Buried Alive with Jennifer Jason Lee. So join us for that Halloween night, 8 o'clock on TV 38 Movie Love. Right now, stay tuned for the news. WBC News 4 on TV 38. It is just ahead. It's now the home of our in the Kind of place. I'm gonna be gross all night. Well, looks like Robert De Niro. King Kong, the big monkey, takes uh, takes Manhattan. Watch this movie, huh? Uh, and uh, oh, are we ready? <laughs> I can do that. Coming from like my wife when she gets up in the morning. Just kidding, huh? <laughs> now go before I scare the yell out of you. Bucket. Slim Fast is working there, isn't it? I know, you know, because they're going to get somebody. Oh, <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Not that I'm scared or anything, you understand? I've done this before. My voice actually just cracked. Yes, then. Oh, look at this. Some mirrors. I like this one. It looks thinner. Now, if I can find one, I look taller. Very important. You're
everyone. I'm Tim Estilos. And I'm Carol Paling. Welcome to a very special edition of WNDS News Upfront. We are here at Spooky World in Berlin, Mass., one of the premier horror theme parks in the country. In fact, people come from all around to check this place out. And Carol, I'm frightened already. Tim, you and about 15,000 other people that can come through the gates here every single night. In fact, you can see just about everything from Tiny Tim to every kind of horror monster you can imagine. In fact, this place is so successful, it's scary. <coughs> Ghouls, goblins, and ghastly graveyards. They're the stuff that screams are made of. And for the past four years, the screams have been especially loud around several acres of frighteningly fun countryside known as Spooky World. And just like Dr. Frankenstein, the creator of this popular horror theme park has discovered his brainchild has taken on a life all its own. Last year, we had a record-breaking crowd of 126,000 people. And this year, it looks like we're going to be in the 200,000 range. I've been involved in the Halloween industry for the last 11 years, um, creating supplies for haunted houses. And finally, after 11 years of traveling throughout the country, decided that we should do this ourselves. We can create a better mousetrap, which we did here at Spooky World. Bertolino hopes Spooky World will do for Halloween horror what Disney did for Mickey Mouse. But at this theme park, you can forget about finding anything cute or cuddly. And if it's warm and fuzzy, it's also likely to have two-inch fangs and a bad attitude. I think it's a fantasy. It's a wonderful escape. Uh, we have uh, appeal to two age groups, the younger crowd who comes here with their parents, and then we have the teenage and adult crowd that comes here late at night for the more horrific experience. That experience includes everything from a hellish hayride not designed for the faint of heart. Behold, my creation lives! But I have a volunteer for the next experiment to a frightening foray through a haunted house. Okay, we're getting ready to go in here. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna find, but come on in, we'll see what happens. I'm not quite sure what's around this corner, but come on, let's, let's check what's down this way. It's got cobwebs everywhere. This doesn't look so bad. It's just a nice little nursery, little baby crib down here. Take a look. I don't know where the baby is, though. Ah! Oh! Scared myself. <laughs> of course, if all that doesn't make your stomach queasy, you can get dangerously up close and personal with a live scorpion or get all wrapped up with a seven-foot-long python. And if that's not scary enough, how about the return of Tiny Tim? Now, how difficult is it to put this operation together every year? We uh, open up our offices in January. We have a staff of 11 full-time promotional people that uh, do our media promotions and sponsorship tie-ins. This time of year, we're up to 482 employees on staff on any, any given night. And before dark each evening, most of those employees are hard at work getting made up to look their absolute worst before the first paying victim comes through the gate. And you can forget about getting that glamorous cover girl look, because here, scars and scabs are definitely in vogue. This one right here, we're only doing just the front part of the face. We should usually do the whole head, and last night we did the full body, pretty much. And um, this right here is only going to take about five more minutes. We've been working on it for about 20 minutes. And um, other ones, anywhere from five minutes to an hour they take for each makeup. With so many people to make up each night, where do you come up with some of the ideas for all the different makeup? Uh, we take things out of different movies that we've seen, or uh, we just make up ideas. The actors get involved and create different ideas, and we just go for it. Every night's kind of different. It's a huge jigsaw puzzle that comes together quite nicely, but it takes uh, a lot of methodical advanced planning. Uh, probably one of the most difficult parts is coordinating uh, the major celebrities. We have 17 major Hollywood horror celebrities that come here during the month and sign free autographs. 
Last year, the crowd trying to get Elvira's autograph was jammed as tight as her wardrobe. Fortunately, there was a bit more breathing room for this year's crop of autograph hounds, and two of the more popular poison pen signatures came from the mother and daughter Scream Queen duo of Terry Lewandowski and Christine Cavalier, whose horror film credits include such video classics as Zombie Night, Thrill Kill, and Night Stalker. What's the best part about being in movies together? I think uh, working out our frustrations, especially in the B-Horror movies. <laughs> and in case you were wondering why they call them Scream Queens... Two, three... <laughs> my ears will never be the same. We've added on some tremendous additions to Spooky World, but the number one addition is the American Horror Museum. That's a museum we've created um, through the efforts of 11 major motion picture companies and special effects houses. We have uh, pieces in the museum from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Razor Hand Glove, Freddy Krueger's. We have a Jason hockey mask. How many items of memorabilia do you have here from all the Hollywood movies? Well, I don't have an exact count, but just about the majority of all the items throughout the museum are original pieces off from the original molds as well as items from the estates of Boris Koloff, Bela Lugosi, Alfred Hitchcock. There's quite a bit to see in here. Tim, what plans do they have next year for Spooky World? Well, Carol, I gotta tell you, David Bertolino certainly has his hands full. He has plans to open up another Spooky World in Minneapolis. Before he's through, he'll have these things all over the country.